but yeah. Aww. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's so fun to hang out with I know, with right? Though. Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? You okay. found him? You found him? What? Is he on right now? A lot of times? When was that? Probably yesterday. Could be a possibility. Three or four days ago. Yeah, what you just witnessed, what this, what he, what this person showed you, that, this person over here, mm -hmm. that's a, that's a predator. Ew. Yes. For as long as the internet has been around for people to come in contact, especially when video calls become a thing on websites like Omega, you'd come across all kinds of individuals from different parts of the world and different age groups where individuals that are too young to even be on this website are seen, not knowing what they're getting themselves into, like them pairing to someone that is clearly twice their age, where they're innocence gets exploited and the next thing you know they become victims of sexual assault so we'll cover a man that not only does this and is being recognized by other fringe groups and possibly the rest of omega usually within the 4chan circles but this is also the same individual who i had to face myself and i even had to take further measures in this situation so i'll be uncovering a situation that isn't very well known outside Omega. When searching information about John Note, I've been met with very, very few search results and even some contents here and there, but not a whole lot of other information as most of it has been removed or has been lost to time or even been hidden away in order to cover a portion of his past. As I later found out that he's been on the internet long before any of this came to light. And for instance, some of the sources that I came across points towards him first being known to frequent tiny chat around 2015 a website where you talk to strangers on video cam or better yet an early zoom like website or even discord so to the best of my ability i'm going to cover what i've found on him so far So one of the earliest mentions of his whereabouts would be coming from a Reddit dedicated to a tiny chat group chat called The Dump, aka r slash workshop with a double P. So there doesn't seem to be a whole lot mentioned about him aside from some screenshots mocking him, but nothing that would hint of his predatory behavior as searching for information on him is really difficult and almost impossible if one doesn't know where to look and I've also been told that there have been boards made on him from 4chan however I couldn't find them anywhere so I'm only left with what's available also there has been a small minority of individuals that actually support this man rather they knowingly or unknowingly are sympathizing with his predatory behavior I find it hard to believe that there's anyone out there that would want to be associated with him but I was wrong and this is what I found so far and yeah, I used to, he was on the uh, tinychat.com slash 4chan. And the 4chan room on tinychat was like one of the most popular rooms for like a couple years. And then it got like shut down and packed and everything. But so now they went around, they went to the R9K chat rooms. And now R9K is banned from uh, tinychat because like they can't be affiliated with anything 4chan. So. I don't know, but I've literally talked to him for like 10 years on Tiny Chat, and it's just like... He's just like, he's just like that, man. He's just like, he's like... He's, he actually is like, uh, playing a character when he gets online. He's like literally online, like, 24-7 also. He just like, loves playing his character, but in real life, like, he's like, just a mellow person, though. Like, he lives with his mom and everything. There's literally no evidence for him, like, being a pedophile or anything. 
I have evidence that he's actually told me like he's he's told me like he doesn't want to with like underage girls. Like, he's literally told me that like a couple of times. So I remember one time uh, he told me he went on the TikTok tag and he was just like, dude, like the TikTok tag has so many girls, and I was like. Oh shit, you're serious? And he was like, yeah, but they're all underage. And I was just like, oh yeah, I mean, there still has to be like some girls there though. And he was just like, nah, man, like, don't even go there. Like, it's just not even worth it because, like, girls there are just like too young on the TikTok tag or whatever. And John Noe was telling me, like, don't go there. So, how does that make him a pedophile? He's telling me not to go on the TikTok tag or whatever. And this is like literally like, last year. I mean, I've talked to him so many times, man, like, you don't even know. Right, I mean, if you're literally, like, looking for content from him, uh, I mean, like, you're, you're scraping the barrel. It's like, right now, you're on, like, the bottom level of the internet. This is, like, the basement of the internet. Like, you're never gonna escape from this right now, dude. Like, John Node is, like, this scum. He's, like, the cockroaches and the wolf garbage disposal or something. Yeah, this is not the internet you want to be associated with if you're really trying to like make a following. If you're here, like you're not gonna make it, basically. I happen to have found this page on defaulters.com hosted by an anonymous user on April 21st of 2021, and it reads out, My family has been being harassed by a middle-aged man named who goes by the name John, but I have been advised by the authorities that his actual name is Hang Xiao. It started when we moved in. John or Hang Xiao would yell things at us as we walk by. This soon moved on to him exposing himself out of the front window of the home. We reported at him and just stayed away, but on the evening of March 4th, 2021, we found Hang Xiao standing in our open garage in only sweatpants on talking to our six-year-old son his hand was on the child's back i screamed and at the time i saw hang xiao run back into the house at the given location in new jersey when he ran he dropped a cylindrical tube that says bathmate on it it appears to be some kind of sexual pump device our family is terrified hang xiao also known as john lives at his domicile with his elderly mother he has been known Known to frequent local strip clubs and is well known to local authorities as a sex pest. Please be wary of this man. Keep doors locked, garages closed. He has been known to use software through his mother's business to locate and harass his victims. Period. Now, this sounds like something that could possibly happen, whether it's real or fake, and I'm not too sure how legitimate this is, but by certain events, perhaps that is a possibility of something he could do or is capable of doing. Also, on this same page, going down to where it says consumer reviews and complaints, there's a comment that says, this is fake and I am sorry. My name is Holden Craig and I am from CA, short for California. As you can see, the post about me is similar to this. I thought he have done this, so I did it back to him in a mania episode. As you can see, I wrote this between 4 5 a.m. I am sorry, and this post is completely wrong. Please take this off, and I believe it's being investigated before it gets too far. Period. So this commenter may not be who they claim to be in an attempt to clear his name. I'm not exactly too sure how legitimate this is, unless there's any further proof or anyone to come forth about it, we'll just have to leave it at that. A claim, or better yet, an accusation. He recorded himself, posted on report that he f***ing raised person. That's his own lawsuit right there. Why did he record his own crime? Yeah, why would he do that? The guy is the ultimate incel. What do you think? To brag it to his fortune news that he f one? Jeez. That's... That is not the only one that has more and more uh, that has been uh, accused of doing that too. Did it in front of his, you know, this his setup, right? This is like his weird ass setup, right? Like he has this like kind of this like weird ass frame, right? Or like you know what I mean? Like when he talks to people, he has like this side thing. Yeah. 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 He f her on that angle. Man. 
I don't know because I've seen the screenshots of the video and I'm like, this I'm gonna not, I'm gonna base my eyes off. And that's what got him to go to jail. Yeah. When I first found out about his whereabouts and his predatory behavior, it actually started when I met a mysterious man who runs a Twitter dedicated to hunting down predators in the 4chan tags on Omega around August of 2021, as well as some other individuals that are somewhat recognizable from my previous encounters, but at the time I wasn't aware that they were predators. And so we both had dedicated some time in tracking them down and see what we can do to get them off this website. Although there's been quite a bit of progress being made, it wasn't until I found out I was being targeted by the time I've received a PayPal donation from him in which I thought it was strange at first, only to later realize this man had entered my server and instantly demanded that a Twitter post on him must be removed or else, thinking that I operated that account when in reality I'm not the one that's making these posts but continues to harass me and manages to call me on my personal phone number in which I'm not exactly sure how he got it so the only thing I can think of is one of my old accounts that happened to be associated with my online presence or probably had found it through a data leak that left some outdated information about my whereabouts and so I didn't even bother answering the call but then I never or rarely ever answer phone numbers I don't recognize unless they leave a voicemail and same thing with text messages and so I ended up blocking him and banning him from ever entering my discord server and the same goes with all his alt accounts that he was entering as and just when I thought it stopped there he later went out of his way to even have made Twitter profiles attempting to slander my name with false information and to no one's surprise failed at gaining any traction. So his last ditch effort into getting me to stop decided to go and tell the rest of his contacts to raid my discord server after I ended my stream back at late April of 2022. One by one I've perma banned everyone associated with John Note and thus everything went radio silent since then. But fear Hearing that something like this may happen again, I had to stop going on Omega and live streaming for at least a good month and a half as during that time I had to attend a work that required me to attend full time and during a time when my schedule started late in the evening for that amount of time before I made a comeback and to continue where I left off in which I became dedicated in making this video. Also, quick update, I've gotten word that he is back, and this is what I have so far about him. Alright, word, so, I was on Omigo, um, like, within the past few days, I saw the dude again. I mean, I've been hearing more and more about him, like, because people have been seeing him more, obviously. Um, my, my homie on here actually told me that he got out of a mental institution recently. He was hospitalized for, like, a couple months or something like that. And it was because of all the bullshit, like obviously, like yeah, But he, um, I think he had a, he had a case or something. He pleaded insanity or something like that. You were like some weird that, and he just he went to the loony bin. So he's back living with his mom now. I actually saw him, and I tried to grab the IP, but I, he, I fucking went to a new person before I could. But um, I think he probably blocked me because the last time I talked to him, I just made him look like a idiot. I see. I am also using a VPN, so it wouldn't make sense. Or maybe, maybe, I don't know. Who knows? No, I didn't know. So, his reputation is more than ruined, and a large portion of the community is aware on what he does on websites like Omega and Discord, as well as some other parts of the internet he appears to be at. And at this point, he could have been locked up and away from any computer as the authorities are already aware about his predatory behavior. And so it makes me wonder why isn't he already locked up behind bars? And one of them would be his mental health condition as he does appear to be mentally unstable. So I will let him explain what the authorities would do about it. That is, the other day I was in a call with an uh, FBI agent. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. Um, I told them everything. 
I didn't leave a single detail out. And <laughs> he did not care whatsoever. These people barely do their jobs. Like, <laughs> you see how many people groomed on the internet? The feds don't care. None of them do. Like, you have no idea. You file a f we support, like, about, like, some random f some grooming on Discord. Do you think they're gonna take time out of their day to just investigate it? Unless, like, you f the money and you press charges and you do all this. Who's gonna f do that, man? Honestly, the judicial systems. F I'm very sure that there's a lot more out there that I have missed or have overlooked. And as I mentioned earlier, getting any kind of information on him is actually really difficult as most of them are reported to the authorities or are kept somewhere that no one can access or is simply lost to time. And I'm only relying on information from both whatever is available on the internet or word of mouth or even some instances where Omega Predators has gotten others to message him of his whereabouts. So this is just an introduction on who this man is and what he does and to bring awareness for when he does appear on the internet once more. And I would suggest if you do come across this man simply skip him and whatever you do do not give away any identifiable information or any means for him to contact you so proceed with caution and make sure you know who you're speaking to because you'll never know who would be behind that screen before it is too late so use at your own risk till then this is lr7 talking about john note and logging out this year and then think what the happen to people and literally say that yeah literally i was